Welcome back everyone to the hello world guys this is another episode of the advanced C++ SFML game series and in this video we are going to continue with our game by adding a sky background so currently Mario does walk around but uh, it looks really dull because uh, behind him you just got a black background which does not look nice you might want to set the background to a sky color to look it a bit nicer but of course we would like to have like a cloudy atmosphere or some kind of image behind Mario instead of just a plain color or just plain black so currently as you can see uh, I have got black color here and of course our sounds are working but uh, the color is basically black and it does not look really that exciting. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to go under uh, let's say for example uh, so let's just go under like for if I open up main.cpp uh, right like that uh, if I go here you can see we are passing it this color here which is basically 20 20 20 kind of not completely black but uh, kind of like that I'll, I'm actually going to remove this line and let it just uh, initialize it to the default black color but the thing that we are going to do is we are going to actually not set it to a sky color but instead have a sky image so I have already downloaded a sky image that is called uh, sky.png and this thing that we have here should uh, automatically load it and uh, when we want to render the sky we want the sky to take up the whole screen which means we need to know how large the screen is now in camera we do have a function for getting the view but we should also have a function for getting the view size so what we are going to do is we are going to create another function which returns a vector called view size if we just want to get the size of the view and we are going to uh, not require it to have a window size because having a window size will not be that awesome so I guess that works but there is a problem with this which is that we won't be able to calculate it without the window size but what we can do is we can create a private variable called view size which is going to be a vector too and what we can do with this is that we can store it here store the view size here and here we can just return that so let's just go ahead and implement that function and return the view size and here you can see we are having a special variable called size and we are using that we are going to set this to view size and not use that size variable so now we are going to have our view size be correct and since in main so if I open up uh, uh, main.cpp for example let me just open that up you can see that before we render anything we set the view to camera dot get view which means it should calculate the view size uh, when we get into the render method it should have calculated it and we always want the camera to be at uh, we always want the uh, not camera actually we want the sky to always be where the camera is so that it uh, looks like it's a sky and doesn't look like it's just a moving sprite so we want it to be positioned always to the camera or to Mario because they are the same place so let's go under render for now and uh, render this before we anything rend uh, before we render anything else since this is the background so we are going to say render dot draw and we are going to pass it the textures uh, sky.png we are also going to uh, for the position pass mario.position and we are going to pass the uh, camera dot get view size here uh, that works quite nicely so it might be better to just pass camera dot position if we implement like linear interpolation for camera we want it to be positioned at the camera so this will be better even though it doesn't really make a difference yet but it might in the future and we get the view size here quite uh, easily and uh, uh, that should allow us to do that in without any difficulty if I were to compile and run my uh, program here what you should see is that uh, it does work and uh, uh, we do get a sky in the background and you can see this changes the environment of our game drastically it now looks a lot better and uh, it feels much more like a real place instead of uh, some weird thing here so that works a lot better so what we can do is we can uh, yeah that, that's pretty awesome and uh, we have got this really, uh, good looking sky implement in our game and we have also got Mario walking around the, uh, you know uh, what do you call it platforms and uh, uh, the animations are working and the sound effects are working so with that we can see we have, uh, we can say that we have got uh, some of the basics of our game done pretty much now uh, there are a lot of features we could add from here and we could add them in whatever order we like uh, now of course uh, I'm going to show you how to make a handful of features but we want like uh, go ahead and completely create many features we are just going to create a uh, few ones and I'll give you some ideas about that should give you a pretty good idea about how to create other features and since we have followed a uh, top down approach from the beginning and having everything uh, you know in our code uh, structured efficiently uh, we should be able to do this pretty much without any uh, big problem so 
yeah that uh, that fall pretty awesome and we have got mario here and he can animate and jump and stuff so you might want to for example add different stuff uh, here for example uh, you might want to add uh, like uh, i don't know uh, coins here and enemies and stuff like that uh, or we might want to uh, first of all work on some ui so what we are going to do is actually we are going to work on the ui first or uh, and if you think that we should maybe work on uh, the enemies and uh, different kind of uh, objects in the scene first you can do that but uh, i think personally that we should uh, uh, you know have a ui here first so that we can kind of see for example how many coins we have collected and stuff like that and then we'll add more uh, things in our game and that all that's all pretty awesome and we are going to use the simple map format that we have got and uh, yeah we will see in the next one make sure to like and subscribe and share this video with other people and uh, also make sure to uh, you know stay tuned for the next one and i'll see you in the next one and bye